So today we're going to check out this uh, specimen here that I took from one of the mines and uh, we're going to uh, see if there's any gold in it by first um, checking it with a multimeter. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the multimeter into a mode. Um, basically it's a test mode and so um, the uh, like you can do this with most multimeters. It's, nothing special uh, this one looks a little fancier but you can do them with do it with most of them um, anyway so now it's called a continuity test um, so basically what you're trying to do is if you complete a circuit between the two leads here then it'll start beeping so just like this and it's beeping so now if I take uh, see this uh, coin right here and I hold one end right here. See now it's completing the circuit. So now the reason that I want to do that is because pyrite, you could put it to pyrite and it will not do that. It will not complete a circuit with pyrite. Gold will. Um, and now the points on these are quite pointy so you could get pretty close in there in a little deep spot. So let's find a good little area on here. Um, as you can see there's a lot of oxidization, it looks kind of like a bit of iron maybe here, it's kind of rusty looking. Um, we got kind of green and blue here, it uh, looks kind of like copper oxidization. Um, and then right here we've got what looks like quite a wave of a, a pyrite in here. Um, so it looks fairly good with pyrite there. Um, so let's let's take a look. I'll try to get so you guys can see as much as possible here. So let's just right here seems like a pretty good little vein of it. So now I'm just going to kind of move it around here. and I'm just waiting to hear if it beeps or anything. Now test it again. Now it beeps, right? But on the actual material here, it's not beeping at all so far. So it cannot complete a circuit with this. So now, hopefully you guys can see that the lighting isn't the best here. Um, let's uh, see if I can bust this open a little bit. And uh, see if we can find a better spot to test here. Uh, just grab a hammer here. Now, uh, see if we can break it right about here. Okay. So, well, you can see it's uh, quite nice looking there, how the little veins go along. It's probably just pirate, but let's test it. Um, and same with this one. It's very rusty looking. See, so that's why I'm thinking that uh, this is a, a, a iron oxidization. And looks like we got a nice crack right here. Let's uh, brush this just a little bit here to kind of clean up the broken stuff here. Okay, so first, let's check this little piece right here. So, we'll put it right in, right about here. And it's hard to <laughs> kind of hold it here and get it to actually touch the little area. And to make sure you guys can see it at the same time. Yeah, we're not getting any sounds out of that. Doesn't look very promising. Uh, so, so we can see right here quite a bit of sparkly right there. It's almost got a little bit of a greenish tinge to it. So, let's go around it and see what we can find here. So 
nothing there. I got the leads pretty close together here, but I'm making sure not to touch them. See, we've got absolutely nothing there. So, not very promising looking. Um, let's see on this piece here. Doesn't look like we've got really anything other than just pirate coloring. Um, over here, it's actually it's a fair bit uh, darker. It's not as like a it's a different green than right here, the pirate right here. Hopefully, you guys can see this. Um, I'll just pick you guys up here and show you. See how this is kind of a darker green here. Then this is much a lighter green. There could be different metals in there. Um, that's mixed up in the pyrite, but I think it might also be that this was more exposed and it's more oxidized. Let's, uh, we'll test this little area right here. So, put one right there and the other lead right about here. And just kind of moving it around, kind of scraping it. And we are getting nothing. Nothing at all there. And we already tested here and we got nothing. Um, let's see if we break it one more time here. There we go. Fairly hard material. You can sure see the uh, pirate in here now. See right where my thumb is right here. It's uh, pretty thick looking. Um, see look at that color versus the color right here where my thumb is now. See, that's quite a more gold looking color and that one was, I don't think that was exposed right there. So, let's test right there, where it's nice and colorful here. Okay, try to do this with two hands, or just one hand, I mean. Okay, so... Okay, so I am there touching it and it's not doing anything. Let's see over here. Let's put them fairly close together because these veins are kind of not so sharp. Oh, touch the leads together there. Again, nothing. Try right here. Um, right here actually looks pretty nice. Okay. Sorry, you guys, it's rather difficult to do. These leads want to pull away at the same time. There. Um, Okay, so we can hold it with this one finger. There. No, we're getting absolutely nothing out of this. And this piece really looks no different. It's like all about the same colors. So, that's about as far as I want to go with that because we're not getting anything out of it. But I will show you guys here um, something that um, hopefully you guys can see. This isn't like the best camera, but this little piece I've got in my fingertips here. Now, it doesn't look a whole lot different from that, but 
I'll uh, move this stuff out of the way. And I want to show you guys this. Yeah, this is Did you hear it? There. That's gold. That makes sound. It's a very, very tiny little piece. And it needs to be smeltered. But that is gold, and that's that's what I was looking for. So now it's not to say that one of those little tiny pieces isn't in there, but so far I haven't found it. But the next thing that I'm gonna do, and this will be in the next episode. So you guys want to continue watching for uh, part two um, is I'm going to completely crush all this down in the crusher and then I'm going to pan it because that is one of the best ways to find if there is actually gold in the material because I would be quite certain probably about 90% sure that there is gold in here. Now it is probably a very very tiny amount but Wherever you find pyrite like this, where it's like tons and tons of pyrite, usually there is a small percentage of gold to go with it. So that in the next video, we'll show that. So stay tuned for that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little educational video. I'll see you guys later.